I'm taking my morning walk and I'm taking you with me and I'm going through the moon path down to the docks. And I like taking this path to the docks, to the beach, because this time of the year, look at all the beautiful wild native asters and the last of the goldenrod. I love that our neighbors, these are the same neighbors who own our, my hubby's other grandmother's old property. Um, they really let a lot of it go natural. So it's really beautiful to see all these wild asters. And these little asters are perfect for little miniature arrangements. A couple of those in a little miniature teapot makes a really adorable tea setting for one of my little vignettes with my animals. But I thought I'd take you today on my morning ramble because I think we'll get our inspiration for today's Inktober drawing from the dock. And I think I've shared this bit before, coming out of the field into this little bit of, this little cups of trees, this little mini woodland. It's just a nice uh, change from just being directly on the beach the entire walk, because I can either walk the beach directly from our beach to the dock, I can walk through this field and woodland into this little open area, or I can walk through the lawns and then down the old brick pathway I shared before. That also leads down to the dock. So I walk to the dock fairly often, but I have a variety of paths to get there. Look how all the uh, bittersweet is starting to uh, turn yellow in here. And uh, can you see how the seagrass is starting to turn its golden hue? Just the tips are beginning to uh, look golden. I think it's it's as if Autumn has uh, arrived and brought all of her luggage and she's unpacking and she's not going to just stay a few days. She's here through the winter. And you can see we have lots of lovely bits of seaweed and shells for inspiration, per usual. Now, if you recall, in my previous vlogs, I showed you high tide. And we couldn't even be walking right where I'm standing now because you can see the high tide would have been, been right up to the field. But now, we can walk straight out into the seagrass. Oh, and this is funny, I picked, I always find these fishing lures here, and I usually set them aside to come back for them. And I'd set this one in the seagrass the other day, or the, uh, not the seagrass, but the field, and forgot about it. Now, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure the tide did this, because there aren't many people here this time of the year, so there may be one other neighbor who walks this area, but I think that was nature giving us a little wink to remind me to take that sea treasure home. So I'll leave it on there for now, but we'll take that back. But when the tide's really low, like it is now, I mean, it's actually not that low because it gets low enough that you can see the seabed, but it's quite low now. So where I'm walking on the seagrass is where when the tide is high and I have my swimming costume and my goggles and my breathing apparatus. <laughs> I love to just glide and glide along the tops of these grass. And if you stay really still, the little shoals of fish will come out and they sort of investigate you. And then as you start to move, it's as if they're just drawn to a larger body of something and they follow you along. But it's kind of nice to walk. Even though there are stones underfoot in this grass, it's still quite nice to walk here as opposed to just walking on the sand and the stones. Or when the tide's really high, I walk through that little woodland there. Or there's a brick path over there I shared with you that I walk to the docks. 
Can you just hear the sounds? The crows in the trees. I love on the t this uh, bit of the beach here, see how these bit of the stones are black, whilst the ones higher up are more natural colored? It's because these are mainly under the sea more often because we're just getting more extreme tides now because of the moon phase we're in, so the tides will be much higher and much lower. So during the middling of the moon phase, the tides aren't as extreme, so these rocks spend a lot more of their time under the sea which always amazes me about these native succulents, how they live both under the sea or out in the hot, dry, baking sun, depending on where the tide is. I believe it's locally known as sea asparagus, but it is quite good, quickly pan-fried. Again, if the zombie apocalypse, apocalypse comes, <laughs> We've plenty to forage. And now I actually thought of taking you to the dock the other day at high tide. It is, I have taken you to a high tide walk on the dock before, and there's a music to it because it plays, it almost plays the xylophone type sound as it goes along the uh, staves and boards of the boardwalk. Oh, and here's a gull friend for us. So we will probably have a gull in today's ink drawing and I wanted to use the dock as inspiration and a gull and a dock though I see it every day is quintessentially New England seaside oh and I noticed the other neighbors this house over here I heard a lot of building sounds the other day and it looks like they just put in all new cedar shakes which is good because they wear, wear, wear. Bye, seagull. So inspiration, oh, and there's a cormorant getting ready to dive. Can you see him just next to the yellow buoy? Look at what a lovely painting to make. The yellow, yellow buoy, the little fleck of cormorant, and the fisherman's gray shacks. I love that we live where there are both really lovely summer boats, sailboats, even sometimes lovely yachts, quite expensive things, <laughs> which are here just for the summer, but that there's also very much an economy of this place with the hardworking fishermen and shell fishermen's docks and boats. And they all live chicken jowl in the tiniest little collection <laughs> of the U.S. here in New England. Look how lovely Treasure Island looks when the tide is low. I'm glad I brought you here for that. See all that lovely soft sand on the right side and then on the left is the soft pebbles? This is why diving from the dock or even just swimming from our beach out here to lay in that soft sand, it feels quite lovely. And isn't that even a lovely frame view with the two posts of the dock, the little dinghy of the fisherman, and the black oyster traps, oyster nets in the background. And I'm not sure if you can tell here, but these little oyster boxes, the cormorants love them. As do the snowy egrets, they stand on them as well. I think the herons are too heavy. But see how the snowy egrets are standing 
on the back, drawing off their wings. They also do that on the big rocks out front. They're quite comical to watch. I think today's inspiration is going to be from the dock and the seagull. Oh, and I have this in my pocket. I always have some little creature in my pocket. This is just a funny little old, I think it's from the, uh, about the 1890s. It was in an old toy box of the ancestors, so I think it was in a box, and I think it was probably about 1890, so it was a little set of farmyard creatures. But I just love this little goose, and I use it often when I'm setting up little vignettes, and I just happen to have it in my pocket because it's nice and thin, so sometimes I like to set it under mushrooms and take photos. But I think we've just found our inspiration for today. The dock, the gull, the sea, and a goose. Though I'll probably do a Canadian goose, which we're more likely to see on this dock than a lovely English barnyard goose. Okay, well, I'm going to make this the end of the video because I'm trying to keep the video short enough to edit so I can also get my drawings done. But I hope you enjoyed taking this short bit of my morning ramble. I'm going to uh, put my goose back in my pocket, <laughs> not a sentence you hear often, and continue on with my walk. And then I'm going to go home and ink up today's Inktober. Well, I finished today's drawing, so let's have a look at it. All right, and I guess for the background image for today's Inktober drawing, I'll have the dock that was our inspiration and the lovely gray sky and the sea moving in. So I'll put it up on the screen. Today's Inktober is Dockside Tea, and you can see we are inspired by the dock because I have a lovely little mermaid swam up to the side of the uh, dock, resting with her tail in the air, and a happy Canadian goose waiting to drink his hot tea. And just coming in is a little tern or a gull bringing their cup to join the festive party. I'm really enjoying these uh, daily Inktobers, and uh, it's kind of nice to have it um, a little short vlog to go with it. I think it's, it's kind of giving me a good schedule, and I'm enjoying it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, today's vlog, and uh, let's get the, to the end of this vlog. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining me for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed our little walk to the dock and today's drawing of Doc's IT. And uh, thank you for participating in Inktober and daily vlogs with me. And uh, I hopefully I will I shall see you tomorrow. And remember, stay creative. Cheers. Mm -hmm.